go right here, you should go here, here to here. So let's push forward, mm. okay? And look at it, I think it's this right side. The tail is broken, you can see right here. The pubis is broken here, right here. But the good news is the acetabulum, they're fine on both sides on both hips. Okay. Nice. So this usually would pull together pretty good. Now certainly she wouldn't be able to deliver or anything like that. Does that pelvis? She wouldn't take that chance. But the spine looks okay. And she ends up walking, and it's mostly because of the uh, the pelvis. You see how it's knocked that way, but mm -hmm. they're they're complete. So it's the pubis. Like this pubis comes clear over to here, but that's that one's offset. That goes there. That goes there. Right. So the one side moved forward, the other didn't. That's the back. We look pretty good. There's the break right there on the sacrum. So the lower back, though, there's nothing. And this is the better too. You can see it. So the break here on the sacrum, push forward, dealing with sacral luxation. We've got a pubic fracture there and there, ischial fracture here and pubic there. But the good news, the joints are okay, and she is actually walking pretty good on it. So, so just to take it easy, cage rest. Likely wouldn't need any surgery. LA, they would.